An unusual case of hoarding out of Texas has Rhode Island animal rescuers stepping in to help. Dozens of chihuahuas were found living in a car with their owner. Now, local rescue workers are preparing for their arrival. The night team's Leanna Falk joins us live in studio tonight with that story. Leanna? Frank, 63 chihuahuas were rescued from a brutal living situation out of Texas. Rescuers say it's a miracle all of them are in healthy condition and weeks away from being in their new forever homes. It was pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Animal rescue workers describing what they saw in these pictures as heartbreaking and deplorable. There was no... Uh, running water, there's no electricity at the home. And then again, neither vehicle worked. Two weeks ago, workers discovered 63 chihuahuas living with their owner inside two cars in Comanche, Texas. She tried to put them all in one vehicle with her so she could, you know, keep an eye on them. And then in the other vehicle, um, she had the others. Sheena Trahan with Save a Tiny Adoptable says they were only let out a few hours a day many of them spending their entire lives inside this inoperable pickup in the garage. If we could not have gotten all these dogs out of there, she would have stayed right there with them and they would have just probably all died in the vehicles together. Trahan says some of the dogs had fleas, but otherwise appear healthy despite living in filthy conditions without vaccinations or any routine checkups. And she basically would not leave those dogs until she found a rescue that would take them. Now in the care of several rescues and shelters across the country, including two in Rhode Island. Trahan says Road Home Rescue and Friends of Homeless Animals R.I. have agreed to take in a few. She says they stepped up, no questions asked. It was just like, let's figure out logistics. And, and now we have that and we actually will start vetting their dogs tomorrow. There's tons of us out here that will do everything within our power to help you. Just give us a chance. And the dogs are undergoing medical evaluations and receiving their vaccines. They'll be arriving in Rhode Island around February 15th and will be available for adoption later that month. Live in studio, Leanna Falk, NBC 10 News, 19.